film kind of to emphasize how technology has brought us to the point where now we can make these films here. Unfortunately, the program would not let us add two objects already made in two different files. So we ended up having to start over on the wings, which in a way was a good thing because we were really worried that the wings would end up being two different sizes and then not being the right proportion for our dragon. This is my first presentation that I'm going to be doing at a owner's conference. Uh, it's about alfalfa, which is a... a little rascal. It, right? <laughs> no, that'd be cool. No, it's about the plant uh, Metacago sativa, I believe. My name is John Joe Camacho. It's a pleasure to see you all come out today. I hereby call this meeting to order at 2.41, September 17th. I'm Lisa Smith. Um, we're here at the HSO uh, booth for the uh, honors or I mean for the uh, fall festival. So I'm about to present okay. for the first time, very first time ever, very very first time at a conference, then mock conferences, which freaks me out too. But now it's a whole new level of being nervous. I feel like I'm about to wet my pants. You know, trying to hang around X or Y is not that interesting, but if it's something we really care about, or doing, combining art and technology in ways that people haven't been doing around here, really are ways that you get to take control over your own learning, and in ways that the other students in the classroom sitting next to you kind of don't. The whole entire battle station <laughs> set up, we had three computers running, five screens, it was, it was insane. Two graphic tablet. Yeah. So that you can already have a lot of bulk of this research done and and be really knowledgeable about whatever you're talking about. So you're not starting off on a clean slate going, oh my gosh, I have to make a doctoral thesis. No, you should all just add another couple of pages and I've already got this done. Alright, hi, my name is Samuel Clark and I'm here at Lone Star Kingwood with the Honor Student Alvin Community College Honor Student Organization. Today we're gonna to be giving all of our uh, presentations. By saying, by the way, everybody. I'm funny. I'm a funny guy. No. He tells a joke. And if the joke is good, then the audience responds. We're here somewhere. So, oh, I like that piece. How, is it up for bid or is it? Should I stand like right here? That way it's like all around. Yeah, you. sure. It looks good. This is the head of the Venus model that I did. It had to be done separately. I have a booth this year. It's little, but it's mighty. Small but mighty. Small but mighty. We're trying to raise money for HSO. Yay! Um, my first one was psychology on the mind of a sex offender. And then my second one was another psychology and how the media portrays children in toddlers and TRs. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really passionate about what I do my fathers on. If you have any art or technology majors, hi. Um, that was kind of like my one project that I'm most proud of was the incorporation of art and technology. So, yeah. Um, we have a two presentation by Misty, Misty Jackson. I'm quite afraid that it was going to chop me in half. It's going to make a sandwich out of you. Mm -hmm. That could happen. Hey, you never know. <laughs> this is a really small elevator. There was, everything had to be negative and no fun and there was nothing good good and enjoyable about life but that's actually opposite of facts these are all false theories having an organization for your honors project is really out to you because you have other people like going through the same thing you're going through and especially the communication skills like you might not be interested in going out and taking a speech class but not even doing that, you can just gain so much insight into what it takes to do that kind of stuff by doing an honors project and presenting. It's just a lot of fun, and you learn a lot of things. Hi, Magdalena Cross. I'm the Vice President of the Honors Student Organization here on the Kingwood campus. I'd like to again welcome you guys here. It's a pleasure to see you here. And our first presenter will be Blondie Zanda. She's from Alvin Community College. So 
focusing on criminal justice, and my project was DNA incorporated in uh, criminal justice investigation. And I'm actually trying to do another one this semester in my criminal justice class. So he's not really fighting me, but I'm trying. No, he is. He's. Uh, we talked twice. Have you? Okay. Yeah. We talked Yay. twice. Okay. okay. Fluctuation. Fluctuation is the other name for birth. During birth, you have two hormones that are working together. That's oxytocin and prostaglandin. I'm actually very excited about it. Is he? Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited because I found something in the book and I was like, Oh, yay. I remember oh, Indiana yeah. Gardner sitting in my office one time saying, I want to be a veterinarian. And I thought, what's oh, wrong with you, so. child? I don't think what so. What is wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Did you? Yeah. Wow. You I forgot also, when, if you um, get a chance to go to any of the conferences, it's a great place to network. If you're planning on going farther than ACC and you're schooling. It's such a place. That's a lot of traffic really yeah. I wonder what the other people that he's filming. You're like, how does he know all this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> orientation thought, but um, her job was to scare the living hell out of them, so she did that. And anyway, yeah, it's, it's cool. Everything, every last word. It's awesome. <laughs> we're not nerds. So, that was the first time you used the first program, or did you use that in the first class and you just become familiar with it? 